Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Eddie Hearn says Anthony Joshua wants to knock out Joseph Parker. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work. And also, shout out to Stuff. The link is in the description in case you want to check out the interview. It's a New Zealand-based online website. And they did an interview with Eddie Hearn, who says, Joshua, in layman's terms, I'm going to paraphrase, Joshua is pissed with the trash talk from Team... Parker, Joseph Parker, and his promoter Higgins, and now he wants to knock Joseph Parker the fuck out. I've already said this. I want the fight to get closed up. Wilder looks like he's going to be fighting Luis Ortiz, and I think this would be a great sequence for the winners to meet. The winner of Wilder Ortiz and the winner of Joshua Joseph Parker will have three, four belts technically, three major belts, and then the IBO belt also. And then Wilder Ortiz winner will have the WBC. So 2018, we can get it cracking. Now, Eddie Hearn says people talk about Joseph Parker's chin like he has this great chin. The truth is we have no idea about Joseph Parker's chin because he's never been hit by a big punching welterweight. Heavyweight, excuse me. By a big punching heavyweight. Carlos Takam is not a big puncher. He's a strong man. Razvan Kojanu. You can't really take any notice of. And Andy Ruiz Jr., he's not really a big puncher. Huey Fury certainly isn't. If Joseph Parker has a great chin, this could be the fight of the year. But let's see how he reacts when he gets hit on the chin by Anthony Joshua. That's the fascinating thing. Right. He also talks about Joshua's win over Klitschko. He battled diversity and showed what he's made of. And, I mean, you can't take anything away from that. He says, it's a unified title fight between two young, fast, dangerous, unbeaten heavyweight world champions. So to do it in an arena and not a stadium, I'd get lynched. It's my job and David Higgins' his job to maximize the revenue for the fighters. My gut feeling, it would be in outdoors in the UK. So he's talking about where they would stage this fight. And he also says, I don't think Parker will crumble, but will he lose his head? Quite possibly. If he doesn't and he can execute his game plan, then he may be a very special talent. I think Parker is a lot better fighter than he has looked in his last couple of fights. Everybody in boxing knows that. But can he execute that performance under this sort of pressure? That's what everybody's asking because we know that Anthony Joshua can. Can Parker deal with the pressure? And he's saying basically that's something we're going to find out on the night of the fight. Now, lastly, he talks about Joshua's intent in this fight and basically he's saying that Joseph Parker and team having that press conference where they're saying Joshua has a glass chin things of that sort he got under Joshua's skin and now he says they are doing a good job of getting under AJ's skin and he wants to knock Joseph Parker out simple as that I wouldn't say it has become personal yet but it's getting there it's going to be interesting because we haven't really seen that with AJ before so I'm excited to get this over the line and I'm excited for the buildup as well. There have been many times where AJ has said to me about Higgins, who is this guy? But Higgins, he got the attention and anything that makes the fight bigger, I'm all up for it. I hope he brings that quirkiness with him to the press conferences, but he may need his security if he pushes too many buttons on AJ. So overall, I like it. Um, again, I still, me personally, I prefer to hear this stuff from AJ. It seems like AJ and Eddie Hearn have this kind of like deal almost, this unspoken pact where Eddie Hearn will say the most vicious things that he and AJ talk about behind closed doors. Like I remember Eddie Hearn for the Dimitri Bivol fight, title fight. He was there obviously because he was promoting and he was there and he says, oh yeah, I got a text from AJ regarding Deontay Wilder and he said he's too small he don't weigh enough and he'll eat him I'll eat him you know what I mean so statements like that and I want to knock out Joseph Parker I would rather hear it from the fighter from 
Anthony Joshua because he would be the one delivering it. But it seems like for whatever reason, they're trying to protect this um, cookie cutter image for Anthony Joshua. And he is he's showing or through Eddie Hearn, at least it's showing that Anthony Joshua does have buttons. You can press him. He you know, I mean, he reacts like any other man when when an alpha male, you know, what I mean, when someone's challenging them or chastising them. But like I said, I would per I, I like what's being said. But I would prefer to hear it from the fighter instead of the promoter being the mouthpiece. Like Floyd, Broner, Conor McGregor, if they say anything to a fighter, it's coming from them directly. It's not John Cavanya talking about what Conor feels and Conor feels he's going to knock out Jose Aldo. You know what I mean? Or Eddie Alvarez. Now, don't get it twisted. You might hear about Cavanya, his trainer, talking about something Conor discussed, like, oh, Conor really wants to knock out Eddie Alvarez, but you're also getting it from the fighter himself. So I personally prefer that. And that's my option, my personal taste. But I still like what, what's being said. And it's making the fight more interesting to me that Eddie Hearn is revealing that Joshua is annoyed by all this talk from Higgins and Parker. Now, the good and bad thing as a fighter and in a fight is you don't necessarily want to go. Emotions could be good or bad. Emotions like Buster Douglas, he lost his mom. She passed away a couple weeks before he fought Mike Tyson, but he was able to channel that in. And when he got hurt by Mike Tyson, he didn't give up. You know what I mean? I think he dedicated the fight to his mom, things of that sort. So emotions can be good in that if you channel it, but it can also be bad if you come into the fight and fight the wrong fight, like Erickson Lubin versus Charlo. He talked all this shit about Charlo, kind of fought off emotions, and then he got knocked out in the first round. So I'm definitely checking for uh, Joshua versus Parker with the buildup. I I somewhat agree with Eddie Hearn about Joseph Parker's chin, but I know people who have sparred him that hit, and they said he has a good chin, right? He's never really been knocked down. And, and I know he fought in the amateurs against like Tony Yoka, who, who I've seen and stuff is a big dude. He never got knocked down in any of those fights. So I, I disagree. I mean, I agree with Eddie Hearn to a degree that we don't know everything about his chin, but I also disagree because I personally have heard stuff and people vouch for his chin. Now, like Hiri Fury, Razvan, Kojanu and stuff, Carlos Takam, I think has decent power, but um, he says Andy Ruiz is not really a big puncher, but I disagree. I think Andy Ruiz got pretty good cracks and he has good speed and slickness. So the delivery of the power is there too. And he's big, you know what I mean? So uh, I think Ruiz has solid cracks. But, I mean, if we're comparing it to Wilder Power, Luis Ortiz, or AJ, yeah, maybe maybe he's not hitting like that. But either way, we're going to find out. Looks like the fight's getting done. Link in the description. Let me know what you guys think. I like this buildup so far. And the heavyweight division is lit, 2018. Let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Son. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.